In this video, we're going to look at how a bookmaker will calculate your accumulator odds. You know the score, you log into the website, you start tapping on selections and your bet slip is populated with those selections and the odds bump up every time you add a different selection in. You'll go start off with a 10 to 11 shot and then it goes up to 7 to 1 and before you know it, you've got 100 to 1 accumulator which looks very appealing from a price point of view. But let's face it guys, if you're betting 101 to 1 accumulators all the time, the chances of you winning is pretty remote. The best thing to do is understand a little bit of the maths that goes behind a football accumulator bet and I'm going to try and explain it in a really simple way. So let's imagine you start off with a pound and you bet on an even money shot with that pound. So that would be a return of two pounds. That two pounds then goes on your second selection and that's also even money and that would be a return of four pounds. And then that four pounds goes on the third selection, which would be a return of eight pounds. Now we started off with one pound and now we have eight pounds if our treble wins with the three even money selections. So that effectively means that that bet was seven to one. If we continue this example and go and carry on with the number of selections, then that eight pounds that we've made would go on an even money selection for a return of 16. And then the 16 could go on another even money selection. So we've got five selections now, all even money for a return of 32 pounds. Therefore, we started off with that original pound, remember, and now we have 32 pounds. So that effectively means that a five even money selections, part of a five-fold accumulator, would probably be priced at 31 to one. It's really good to know the maths behind it. Effectively, when you're placing an accumulator, the odds multiply together. That, mean, that is the reason why your accumulator can pay, look like enormous odds when you've got a huge number of selections, especially if you've included some large price selections. But we would always recommend that you choose between four and six selections in your accumulator bet. That gives you a really good chance of achieving a nice return without being unrealistic as to trying to win with a bet where you just need too much to happen in order for you to bank a winner. Head over to whataka.com now and sign up for those free daily emails. We'll do our very best to find you a winner.